Hello and welcome to the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the world's safest pull-up bar. Well, that's their words, not mine, but in today's video, I'm reviewing Evolve Over Pull-Up Bar. Evolve Over is a fitness website that sells a magnitude of fitness equipment such as ab rollers, massage guns, and portable pull-up bars. The kind people at Evolve Over were generous enough to send me a free pull-up bar to review on this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering all the big questions when it comes to a portable pull-up bar, like how portable is it, how easy is it to set up, and most importantly, does it leave any marks on the wall? So let's jump in and get straight to it. So I just want to start clarifying at the start of this video that I am very much a millennial in the fact that I cannot do any DIY. Like maybe if I had a gun to my head, I could possibly change a tire, but... I wouldn't want to bet money on it and I'm pretty confident that if I manage to put this pull-up bar together in one go by myself, I will be receiving a phone call from my dad saying how proud he is of me. Anyway, the package is here and I'm ready to roll, so let's have a look what we got. The Gravity Tightening Pull-Up Bar. No screws or drilling accessible and it comes in two sizes, there's one that's for normal doors and one for bigger doors, so I went for the ordinary door one. Okay, so if it's as difficult as it is to get out the box as it is to stay on the wall, we are in for a good time. But yeah, it looks like a fairly interesting piece of equipment. Also comes with a welcome letter, which is very nice, an Allen key, which makes me nervous, and some setup instructions. Actually, it sounds pretty simple which was I explained before, is saying something coming from me, but I'm pretty confident by looking at the instructions, you just kind of screw this till it fits the wall and then tighten it from the middle, which sounds easy enough. So I guess we're gonna have a go, see how it goes, see if I can put it together. And then at the end, I'll kind of go through the advantages and disadvantages of this pull-up bar and what my recommendation is. So yeah, let's try and get this bad boy set up. OMG, I think I did it, first try. So that is pretty simple to do, to be honest. So you just kind of adjust it so these fit the door frame. So yeah, then you turn this up to tighten. You can see on there. So you turn that up to tighten or loosen. Once it's tightened there, you can then secure these. So as this lock, kind of goes in here, and then you kind of just lock that across. And that's it. That is in there. So yeah, that literally was like two minutes possibly, maybe three minutes. That was super easy, and yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I'd definitely done everything correctly. But yeah, it seems like it's good, so I guess we're ready to test this bad boy out. I'm just curious actually what the Allen key was for. I don't know, hopefully you, you don't have to use the Allen key. Okay, so let's test this sucker out and see if it holds us. Yeah, that is going nowhere. Yeah, so I am, I'm really impressed with that. I am, I said, the thing I was most concerned about was whether it was gonna go on the wall and if it was gonna be able to work on this wall because we just have kind of normal walls here, like plasterboard, but it seems strong enough. Doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. I guess the penultimate test now is to see if there is any marks on the wall. So let's go. Okay, so there is actually some markage, but let's see if it's real or if we can get rid of it with a little bit of a magic sponge.
Okay, so that was a false alarm. It was a kind of maybe just a bit dirt on the wall, but yeah, the marks come straight off. Nothing to worry about there. No marks on the door. So yeah, let's get back and get the final verdict. Okay, so that went a lot smoother than I anticipated. I was actually a little bit concerned because Loretta was at work and she is kind of the handyman of the house and I was kind of thinking maybe it'd be a good idea for her to be here in case anything went wrong, but yeah, it seems like we did it all good. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of this pull-up bar? Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly go into the positives and negatives of the pull-up bar and why you should possibly get one of these. If you watch many of my other videos, you will know that I have a pull-up mate, which is essentially a bigger version of a portable pull-up bar. And I kind of say they have pros and cons to both. I've made videos about the pull-up mate. If you're interested in that, I'll link it here. But the pull-up mate, the one big concern I did have, which uh, I did say in the review of the pull-up mate, was the fact that the grip was so thick. It makes it really difficult to actually even like grip onto the pull-up bar which is good if you really want to work on your grip at the same time it's not great if you want to work on your pull-ups and the second thing with the pull-up mate is also that the grip can become a bit slippy because it's kind of made of this like plasticky material and when you get hot and sweaty when you're working out it kind of does slip a little bit so there are the two negatives of the pull-up mate and they're pretty much eradicated from this this has a nice narrow grip which you can pretty much get your whole hand round and if that wasn't enough they put like a, a snazzy grip hold thing on here so when Evolve over reached out to me and said do you want to try this pull up bar I actually did want to because one they're the two problems that I was having previously with the pull up mate which I've just explained and two the pull up mate isn't that portable like if you're just going away for a four night weekend in a hotel Bringing the whole pull-up mate is quite a big commitment whereas said I can actually we do travel around quite a lot I can just pack this in my backpack with a set of my gymnastic rings and I can pretty much just train on the road the negatives of it so far from what I can see from just quickly using it pretty restricted with the door frame this depends how seriously you take your pull-ups but as you can see from the door frame I just set it up on I'm unable to keep my legs straight from the height of the door frame which can be a limiting factor when you want to do pull-ups especially if you want to work on tightening your core and also because of the width of the door frame I am unable to do wide pull-ups because obviously the door frame is very narrow but this is just my door frame hopefully if you've got a, a tall high wide door frame then you are literally in the pull-up world dream I'm most blown away with how easily it was to set up I'm actually just gonna pop it back up and take it for a little spin and do a little workout on it I just wanted to make sure there was no marks but yeah evolve over if you're interested in checking these out these guys have a bit of a sale on at the moment it's really cheap they ship worldwide so it's actually an American brand but they shipped all the way over here to the UK absolutely free of charge they also very generously gave me a discount code for you guys to use if you want to save 10% type in Pete on purpose in the discount code and you will save 10%. I also get a little bit of a commission, so if you want to support me, that'd be a nice way to do it. But don't just do it because you want to support me, do it because you actually want to pull up bar. But yeah, that is a nice bit of equipment and my travel equipment is coming along nicely. And I might actually do a gym tour if anyone was interested. I have quite a lot of minimalist travel fitness equipment. So if you're interested in seeing that, maybe drop in the comments below and uh, yeah, I'll do a minimalistic travel gym tour for you. With that being said, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hello, dad. Yes, I did put the pull-up bar on myself. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Oh, thank you so much. You're so kind. Yeah, yeah, I'm proud as well. Thank you.